Good evening, everyone. As you know, Pastor McManus is still resting her voice. Therefore, please continue to study the Bible specifically by reviewing Genesis 10 through 12. Although we reviewed Genesis 10 through 11 last week, as soon as Pastor gets her voice back fully, she will return back to Genesis 10 for a more detailed study of what she presented in video these past few weeks. Please listen to Genesis chapter 12. This version is the Bible experience. We do not own the rights to this recording. Uh -huh. Make you into a great nation and I will bless you. I will make your name great and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you and whoever curses you, I will curse. And all peoples on earth will be blessed through you. So Abram went as the Lord had told him and Lot went with him. Abram was 75 years old when he set out from Haran. He took his wife Sarai, his nephew Lot, all the possessions they had accumulated and the people they had acquired in Haran, and they set out for the land of Canaan, and they arrived there. Abram traveled through the land as far as the site of the great tree of Moray at Shechem. At that time, the Canaanites were in the land. The Lord appeared to Abram and said, To your offspring, I will give this land. So he built an altar there to the Lord who had appeared to him. From there he went on toward the hills east of Bethel and pitched his tent with Bethel on the west and Ai on the east. There he built an altar to the Lord and called on the name of the Lord. Then Abram set out and continued toward the Negev. Now there was a famine in the land and Abram went down to Egypt to live there for a while because the famine was severe. As he was about to enter Egypt, he said to his wife Sarai, I know what a beautiful woman you are. When the Egyptians see you, they will say, this is his wife. And they will kill me, but will let you live. Say you are my sister so that I will be treated well for your sake and my life will be spared because of you. When Abram came to Egypt, the Egyptians saw that Sarai was a very beautiful woman. And when Pharaoh's officials saw her, they praised her to Pharaoh and she was taken into his palace. He treated Abram well for her sake, and Abram acquired sheep and cattle, male and female donkeys, male and female servants, and camels. But the Lord inflicted serious diseases on Pharaoh and his household because of Abram's wife Sarai. So Pharaoh summoned Abram. What have you done to me? He said. Why didn't you tell me she was your wife? Why did you say she is my sister? So that I took her to be my wife. Now then, here is your wife. Take her and go. Then Pharaoh gave orders about Abram to his men, and they sent him on his way with his wife and everything he had. We are going to step away for tonight from our traditional Bible study until Pastor gets her voice back. Tonight, we are going to look at where missions are in the Bible by looking at the book of Genesis through the book of Revelation. Enjoy this brief video that explains the importance of getting God's work out to the world. Before we review tonight's lesson, if you do not know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, then we invite you to drop us a line right here on Facebook and someone will be glad to get back with you. Please know that all other angels in heaven rejoice over one soul being saved, and we will rejoice right here. As Pastor says each week, no one needs to know your vices. We have no heaven or hell to put anyone in. Just drop us a line saying, what must I do to be saved? And someone will contact you soon. Do not leave your cell phone number. Someone will contact you via Facebook. After the video, we will play St. John's announcements. Now for the video regarding the importance of missions. <laughs> 